It's surgery day. She's gonna miss this. Six weeks of a wheelchair. And it is storming. <laughs> We're having a bit of a wheelchair debacle. What a crazy day. <laughs> oh, those are the first smiles we've had all day. Good morning, it is travel day. So I've got about five hours to get dressed, packed, get the van ready, and get the kids in the car and get down the road so we can get to the hospital. We're staying the night down there tonight because we have an early, early surgery tomorrow morning. So let's see if I can do it. All right, I'm all dressed for work. All right, got the lunches packed, Travis got the kids dressed, and now it's off to school. fully packed, have said our goodbyes, and we're headed out to get Elizabeth out of school and headed to the children's hospital. Woo! All right, we got our Elizabeth and she got our people. Now we're officially getting on the road. And now we're finally going our way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her go. All right, we made it down to my mom's house, which is where we're staying, and then we'll go to the hospital in the morning and we will have dinner and just watch Elizabeth play out in the park. It's actually really cool to see how far she has come. Are you playing tag? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Partly I think part of that's gonna be hard and sad because she's gonna lose a lot of that initially with the surgery and then the atrophy of the muscles for the six weeks, but I'm hopeful that we'll be seeing her on a playground again and much improved on her own. <laughs> yeah. Tag, no! Yeah. Yeah. Look at how steady you are. It's you being all brave. Look at you rock climbing. You rock climbing. Michael's playing tag with Nana Kay. <laughs> Uh oh. What are you doing? Are you coming to get mama? You want me to sit on that rock? Okay. Here I am, sitting on the rock. Michael's on his rock. You're on your rock. Look at that leaf. She's gonna miss this. Six weeks of a wheelchair. You say bye, Park. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're gonna go over this thing. Over. Good morning. It's surgery day.
probably send you guys home with medication. Hey, oh, are you sad? <laughs> oh, do you have a hard time, yeah, sweetie? Yeah, yeah. Look what I'm doing. I'm riding around on a bike. First smiles we've had all day. Yeah. <laughs> I fell <told> down. <laughs> Daddy's funny. <laughs> Look who it is! Hi! Hi, is that your brother? Hi, Elizabeth! Her surgery went good. She's still, um, she's kind of in a lot of pain. So we're trying to manage the pain. She does not really like the IV that's on her hand. But I, she was excited to see you. What does the cow say? What does the cow say? The casting was good. They casted her foot while she was still sleeping from the anesthesia. Whoa, she got two new casts? Two new casts. They go all the way up to her thigh. Dinner time. Good morning. It is the day after surgery and <clears throat> It was a rough night. It was, I forgot how rough hospital stays can be. I mean, all things considered, they really tried to help us have a good time, but Elizabeth was really struggling with her IV. I think it was strapped on too tight, so we were finally able to get that off, but all the beeping machines, all the times they came in to get vitals and stuff just kept us awake over and over and over again. So I just spent a lot of time cuddling next to her massaging her head and then trying to get her comfortable. So this morning though, we're doing really good. We've been eating breakfast and just watching shows and getting ready to go. We're gonna see a physical therapist and see if our wheelchair works. And if it does, then we'll be, be able to be discharged. Waiting for your child who's in surgery can always be a little nerve wracking, even for the simplest of procedures, but just to see them go and to just be waiting can be hard, so you just try to keep yourself busy. Oh, look who's got feeling back in her toes. How about these ones? Yay! Looks like the anesthesia wore off and the nerve block has worn off, so yay! Wanna say hi to Michael? Hi, Elizabeth. Good morning. How'd you sleep, buddy? Good. Is that our Michael? I think watching videos of our family helps bring a little bit of comfort. Mm -hmm. Did you see yourself? Yeah. You want to watch this one too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it's Michael. There's you on your first day of school. Jacob. Jacob? Mom. More? Yeah. Aww. It's nice to see her perk up after a couple of days of being sad. We're having a bit of a wheelchair debacle. The leg rests that came with it are huge. And so I have three collected here and we're just gonna have to see if one fits and hopefully one fits because she's got to keep her legs elevated for like the first week. Too big. 
also too big. You see how it just doesn't... She'd have to have her legs apart. Ah, that is much better. That. Can you lift it up a little bit? Daddy. Ah! <laughs> oh, is Daddy trying to eat you? <laughs> yeah, Daddy's trying to eat you. Oh, you have the best daddy. <laughs> My mama. Daddy cheers you up every time. So although it's been a bit of a rough stay, the phone calls and the texts from our friends and family have definitely cheered Elizabeth up and made it easier for me. And so we appreciate all of you and the love that you've sent to us as we've gone through this experience here at the hospital. We love you. Michael found you. We got a present for you. Got you a really puppy. Today did not turn out like I thought. We were planning to leave sometime this afternoon, and it is six o'clock. It's getting dark outside and we're still here waiting for the delivery of a reclining wheelchair for Elizabeth and it has just, it could be even a couple more hours, up to three hours more. So we're sitting here cuddling, watching shows and trying to just pass the time, trying to manage pain. Pain has been a little bit hard today so just praying and hoping that it gets here soon so that we can go sleep in a nice bed tonight. So the wheelchair just got here and it was the wrong wheelchair. I don't know what happened, but the order got all mixed up and... <laughs> and Elizabeth is tired. Anyway, so we put in the order. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. We got our medication. We're gonna go to my mom's house and we rerouted it and ordered a new one and hopefully that will get to our house because we really need to have that reclining wheelchair for her. Anyway, it's been a long day, so we are it out so it goes just gotta keep going when stuff like this happens and just make it work and so that is what we're gonna do <laughs> up in the van and that was way longer than I was hoping it would be and I'm still a little frustrated but I'm grateful the surgery went well and I'm hoping this will help her in the long run and so we're just I just let's go home and sleep look at that storm we're headed back from the hospital with Elizabeth here and it is storming we've got a couple of snow plows ahead of this but this line is huge you can't see it because it's so stormy and cloudy up there but they've been clearing the roads for us and thank goodness because we don't have our winter tires on wow people are coming in the opposite direction whoa this is crazy storm is clearing Elizabeth and me are getting pretty bored because we're in this we're going super slow in this snowstorm and um she has figured out something she wants to do. So oh! <laughs> She's gonna throw pillows at me. <laughs> Here comes another one. Ah, oh, you got my legs. <laughs> oh! This is fun. Are you hitting Michael with a pillow? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh. Ah! She's going to be doing this for the entire car ride, I'm pretty sure. Hiya! <laughs> the sun came out! We have not seen the sun for a couple hours. It 
doesn't even look like there was a storm at all. There's the storm cloud we just drove through. That was crazy. That was a crazy, crazy snowstorm. We were driving on ice for big portions of it and I just feel really lucky and really blessed. What a crazy day. <laughs> we got out of the hospital last night and went to my mom's because it was too late to go home. We left the hospital without the wheelchair that we were waiting for because they messed up the order. So I was like, all right, just send it to our house. Well, I get a call this morning and they're like, hey, we're at the hospital with your wheelchair. And I was like, ah, man. So I wasn't super impressed with the company. Uh, anyway, suffice it to say, two hours later, I tracked down the wheelchair. I just went straight to the manufacturer, or not the manufacturer, I just went straight to the warehouse and was just like, I'll, I'll just get it and take it home. Don't worry about sending it to my house. And that seemed to solve the problem. So um, we did get the wheelchair, which is great. And then we're just gonna come home and we hit such a crazy storm. And I am just so grateful that we made it. And now we're just all gonna eat and sleep and in our own beds and not lose it. But man, it was stressful. Like I'm breaking out, I'm breaking out. <laughs> stressful, breaking out. I've had better days and better weeks, but we just keep going. That's how I keep myself sane during experiences like this. And it works.